When it comes to survival shelters, we here at the Appalachian Bushman School teach the fastest, most efficient method ever, period. Now, when I say that, I'm not trying to be a smarty pants. There are a ton of good shelters out there. My whole reasoning behind this shelter, though, is out of all the shelters I've ever seen put up when it comes to just a simple tarp, this by far is the easiest and most effective. It truly is. It's something that the people that come to our classes can leave here and 10 years down the road, I know that they're gonna remember how to set this up. It's seriously that easy. What it does require, though, is just a little bit of prep on the front end. And think of this as you're just prepping your survival tarp. And this is gonna be it. It's gonna be your tarp set up for carrying in the back country. It's gonna be carrying when you're recreating outdoors so you have that shelter with you. And then the set apart is a breeze. For this, you're gonna need three, maybe four temp pegs just in case you lose one. I normally carry three. I'm not gonna lose them. Second, you're need, going to need a tarp. So most of the time when you buy a tarp, it's rectangle, it's not square, which that's fine. Grab a rectangle tarp, five by seven, Probably no bigger than that, because you want this thing to be packable, you want to carry it all the time. You want it not to be just overwhelmingly huge. And then you're also gonna need some paracord. Just 50 feet will be more than enough for this. Okay, next step, take about a foot of paracord and on each corner, just tie it over. I don't care how you tie it, just make sure that there's a loop on each and every corner. Next, identify the long side of the tarp. So if it's a five by seven, identify the seven foot side and then go to the first hole on that side. And I want you to take about 20 foot of cordage. You're gonna run it through the loop and then tie just another simple knot on here. What that's gonna do is gonna give you these two ends just like this tied on. So this is one piece of cordage, it's just tied on there. Again, knots don't even matter that much. There's a thousand ways you can do it. I'm just showing you the down and dirty way. Then go to the other length, so the long length, I'm going right across, and I'm tying on my other 20 foot. So that's gonna give you 10 foot of cordage off each side, but it's doubled over. So that should make pretty much sense. And now literally your tarp is good to go. So we're gonna show you the two configurations, lean-to and plow point. So now we realize we're in a situation that we need to set up our survival tarp. Simply pull it out of your backpack and you are just about done. Literally this takes most people about one minute and 30 seconds. We always thrive to say that people can do this under a minute with a little bit of proficiency and tying it up right, but we'll go with a minute 30 for today. So the first thing we wanna do is once we realize where we wanna set up our shelter, we're just gonna grab one of those ends with the big long strings on, and we're gonna come up against whatever tree it is that we decide where we're gonna camp at. Now we're literally at this point, split the strings on one side and pull that tarp up against the tree. Remember, waist height is always a good starting point. I'm gonna pull my two lines through, and then I can either start tying or I can give it one extra wrap for security. And then on his backside, this is what makes it so easy. If you can tie your shoes, you can tie up this tarp. So just tie, loop, loop, swoop, however you tie your shoes. I mean, unless you have Velcro, whatever. My point is literally that it's, it's just a, a shoelace knot. Just tie it like you're tying your shoes. And then this side is tied up, it's that simple. And then once that side's tied up, we have a long enough cord on the other side that we can run this out to our next tree. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bring that out to the side and I'm gonna just tie my basic shoelace knot. And now my shelter is almost complete. All I need to do is stake out the backside. So literally it is all done now. My lean-to shelter is set up. The good thing with this is you're not gonna forget how to tie your shoes. So it's very easy always to set this tarp up. Just pull it out and you're good to go. Now even to be more efficient and more awesome, once that first tie out is on the tree, if you wanna put a plow point up, just grab your three tent pegs and have at it. Remember, you always wanna do the side that is opposite your tie out point first. So that'll be your back corner. Come here, pull out your side, and then pull out your second side. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is with all these four loops on each corner? Why do I need them on there? Well, it's for plow point configuration. The reason that we put a loop on each of the four corners is because then it just takes any of the thinking away. You can set it up sort of incorrectly and it's still gonna work out. So if I tie this side up, the other side 
right here that has the big long strand on still has a loop for a tie out point. So I can still put that in a tie point configuration. I didn't have to really think about what side I need to tie up. This can be a mumble jumbled mess, but the loop is still there so I could stake it out quickly and efficiently. So with just a little bit of prep work on the front side when you first buy your tarp and using a little bit of cordage, you have yourself an emergency shelter that you can carry along. It packs down super small depending on the type of tarp that you buy and it is so easy to set up. Literally, as long as you can tie your shoes, you can set up this shelter. Plow point, super quick, lean to, one extra tie out point, but it is, it's easy and it gets the job done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the shelter that we teach at our basic survival class. We just think it's efficient and it's simple. And at the end of the day, if you were in a true situation, you're stressed out and have a thousand other things going on, you don't want to mess around with a lot of tie outs and a lot of different knots. You want it to be easy and you want it something that even if you take the class or you practice this on your own and then you don't do it for a year, it'll come back to you real quick. You don't have to really think about it. This is just pulling strings against a tree and tying them off and then you're golden. So give this a shot if you've never tried it and um, I guarantee you're gonna like it because it's gonna be fast and it's gonna be efficient for you. So this was Dan Wolwack with Coal Cracker Bushcraft, owner of Appalachian Bushman School. Come take a class, we'll teach you a lot more cool stuff like this. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com, hit the subscribe button. Until next video, stay in the woods. Set up your shelter super fast, Easy, efficient, all that.